Hi, I'm Sarah, Memory Care Director at Tuscan Gardens of Palm Coast. The number one question families ask when they're taking care of a loved one living with dementia, how do I get them to take a bath? To ensure having a positive bathing experience, make sure that the stage is set. Make sure you have your supplies gathered, towels, soap, shampoo, change of clothes for once they're completed. Also be aware of their modesty level. A lot of people aren't comfortable undressing in front of others. So have a towel or a robe handy for them so that they can cover up and they feel secure. Plus they stay warm. Also make sure that the room is warm. Use a space heater or possibly run the shower a little bit to steam the room up. Have some music playing. Make sure that they feel comfortable. Let's get going on the bath. I often suggest that you have your loved one use the restroom first. There's two reasons for that. First, it's gonna make them more comfortable, but secondly, it's also going to have them halfway undressed by the time you're ready to actually get them in the shower. Utilize that towel or robe to keep them warm as they're undressing, but let them wear that into the shower. That can get saturated and wet, and that's okay because that's going to keep the water reversion and the anxiety from that water tactile stimulation down and that's gonna keep them more happy in the shower. You can utilize that towel to wash them. Also keep them involved in that washing process. Allow them to be as independent in their washing as they can be. Suggest they do their arms, their legs, cue them. That allows you to be a standby for their safety, but it keeps them independent. Lastly, as far as washing their hair, remember this generation wasn't used to taking showers every day or every other day like you and I. So, if we can get one shower in a week, that's okay. If we don't get their hair washed every time, that's okay. Sometimes it's easier actually to wash their hair outside of a bath situation. You can buy shower caps that have shampoo already in it. That's a no-rinse shampoo. You simply put those on, rub them around, and you let the air dry. You can also buy the kind that you just squirt in their hair and massage into their scalp, and it air dries. Those are a couple helpful tips for washing hair. Lastly, Make sure that you leave yourself enough time. Be patient with the process. It's not gonna be something that can be done in five minutes. So don't set yourself up for failure by trying to squeeze it in before you need to get somewhere. And always take a deep breath. You can do this and praise all the efforts, both for your loved one and for yourself. You're doing a good job.